been needing a new mouse for a little while now. My old 2013 Razer Death Adder has been glitching out on me. So the main reason why I decided to switch is uh, because it would register one click as two clicks. So it's pretty annoying when editing, gaming, or just basically doing daily operations on the computer. And uh, it's so inconvenient. So this thing's going to be retiring now. And uh, I decided to stick with the uh, Razer family and decided to get the Chrome edition of the Death Adder. It was on sale on Amazon, so I just decided to cop it and stuff. So I was thinking about switching brands for my next mouse, but I just decided to stick with Death Adder. I was looking into the, the Steel Series uh, 500 series and uh, the Logitech G502 uh, mouse, uh, but honestly, I just I just I just stuck with the family because I already know I like this mouse a lot. So so why not get one that has uh, you know customizable lights? And I don't know what it is about the chroma lighting in the computer hardware, but it's like. It's like cats in their boxes, you know, like they just like them and they go in them and stuff. But we have we have the the neon lights and we just like it for some reason. I don't know, but it looks cool and I'm not, I'm not complaining or anything. All right, so now let's take a look at the box of the mouse. So we got the product shot at the front, the logo, a Razer logo, ergonomic gaming stuff, you know, information, full spectrum, RGB lighting, the name, and then we got you know all the information about the mouse. And then on the side we have. Some more specifications about the ergonomics and the optical sensor and the chroma lighting. And back we have uh, features of the mouse right here of the numbers and stuff. Really organized. There's boxes and I just spoke like Yoda. Anyway, so we got some uh, different language and all the specifications of the mouse. Oh my god, focus please. Holy. Yeah, all the specifications of the mouse and different languages. It's compatible with Mac. Okay, we got the PC over here too. We got the... Reviews from pro players. We got the mouse features and stuff and then on the bottom we have so on the bottom We got all the serial numbers and all the legal stuff and then the top some more branding of the mouse So yeah, that's pretty much uh, the, the mouse box. So yeah, let's just uh, get into the unboxing and I'll show you guys what's inside Okay, so let's start with some paperwork. On the front we have uh, some information about the mouse and the Razer cult and stuff, all their social media links. Next we have a Razer zone, so I think they're about website and stuff, reward stuff, right? So next we have the death adder manual, I think it is, just says information about the mouse and stuff. Yeah, all that stuff. And we have some Razer chroma stickers, which is probably my favorite part of the paperwork, because these look hella nice right here we can probably put them on my pc one of them at least so oh there's all the paperwork there's the mouse let's get it right here so actually on the back we have a we have a gold gold plated uh what's it called usb connector which is i think good for the like, conductivity or i'm not an electrician but yeah it's good for something all right then we got the the mouse right here all right look look at it look look at the matte finish it's really looking nice right here so polished holy crap all right, so here's the mouse and all its glory, unboxed and afraid. All right, so it's all polished and stuff. And then there's the. It's nice to have the rubber grips again because in my old razor right here, it uh, it came off because the glue wasn't like it got. I don't know, the glue got stale or something. I don't know. They came off, but now we got the, we got both the the grips on the both sides. All right, we got the clear logo and the clear sides of the scroll wheel to have all the lighting effects. Even though it's going to be covered up by my palm of my hand when I'm going to be playing. But when I'm not playing or using my mouse, I, I can see the lights then. So yeah, it's, uh, it's it looks nice, pretty much exactly the same as, as a 2013 edition. It has 10,000 DPI, says on the back right here. So it's really good for sensitivity people you know, who care about sensitivity. And then uh, the branding is different right here. You guys see the, the number, whatever. Yeah, so the Death Rider Chroma as on the... Old one. Oh, okay, yeah. So we have the little different branding right here. Also, let's just put them up side by side. Okay, so the two mice are now next to each other. The right one is the 2013 edition, and the left one is the Chroma one. And and if you look at it from the top view, the Razer Chroma seems a little longer than the 2013 edition. And I actually really like that because I play my games with a palm grip. So when I put my hand on the mouse, it's way more comfortable. I can feel more of the mouse as if I'm gonna play here. I could like there's some falling space or stuff. So yeah, I, I really enjoy that. The cable seems to be the same. It's pretty much like the same mouse, but like 10,000 DPI, the chroma lighting, and yeah, it's pretty much the same design. You know, the most popular design on the mouse, I guess, right? And uh, that's pretty much it. So now I want to plug in the cable and then check out the road there. So this is the moment. Time to let go of the 2013 edition. I'm gonna plug it from the computer and plug in the chroma one, and we'll check out the lighting on this thing. Ooh. 
Yo. Wait, it went out of focus, but dude, look at this thing. It switches colors. Dude, this is like so awesome for, oh my, bro. It's, oh, <laughs> I'm so fascinated right now, guys. This is so cool. It's green. You should go, I think you should go to blue now, right? Yep, blue. Oh, man, it's so good. All right, so good. Holy crap. All right, palm crib. Oh, oh. Ooh, ooh, okay. <laughs> anyway, so that's pretty much it for the for the Razor Chroma. I'm right, probably gonna choose a color, maybe breathing. I don't know. Uh, you guys probably know already like the settings and stuff from other videos on on the software. So I'm not gonna go over that. But yeah, so thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna go play with this mouse now, and I'll see you guys in the next video.